Roman Reigns made his return to SmackDown, but GM Nick Aldis made a shocking decision concerning Roman Reigns. And now Roman is very angry. And some say that Roman's return has been ruined. We'll have full coverage of this breaking news in today's video. So even though WWE and Nick all this have basically botched Roman's return, new stats are revealing just how popular Roman Reigns currently is as he is now a true babyface. Roman Reigns now has the number one best-selling t-shirt in WWE as his OTC, Original Tribal Chief, t-shirt is the number one selling t-shirt in the company. Three out of the top 10 WWE best-selling shirts are Roman Reigns shirts. He holds a number one position, four position, and number seven position, showing just how excited fans are to see Roman Reigns back in WWE, which is why this shocking decision by WWE and Nick Aldis is so shocking. The time is right, yet WWE decided to basically punish Roman. We'll have more on that in just a moment. And Fightful Select is reporting that WWE has produced brand new theme music for Roman Reigns, and it possibly could sound nothing like his current theme music. Now, Roman did return to kind of a updated version of his previous theme that he had before he left, but now it seems WWE is readying for an all-new theme that is being labeled expansive and lengthy whatever that means. With Roman returning at SummerSlam and then returning to SmackDown, fans are wondering if he might reform the bloodline. Jey Uso possibly gave us a major hint of things to come. He posted a story on Instagram that reads beginning of the original bloodline showing Roman, Jimmy Uso, and Jey Uso. Could this be a major clue? Fans were very excited about Roman returning to SmackDown, but that excitement quickly turned to upset as GM Nick Aldis made a shocking announcement about Roman Reigns. Why did he do this, and what exactly does it mean? Let's get to this right now. Solo's bloodline consists of four members, but we only saw three members on SmackDown. Why? Well, Jacob Fatu was legitimately injured at SummerSlam, so he is out of action. In his place, Tonga Loa. But Tonga Loa has been known since joining WWE for making some unfortunate botches, and he made another botch on SmackDown. So as he's replacing Fatu, he is now going to be co-tag team champion along with Tama Tonga. So with this change, Tonga Loa held up his title. Unfortunately, it was upside down. Some fans were mad at Tonga for doing this, disrespecting the title. Some fans made fun of him. But we have to look at this picture here where he's holding the title upside down. What do we see here? We see a man with one eye. He's wearing an eye patch. Can you really blame him for holding the title upside down? His vision isn't exactly 2020. And why did WWE leave the side plates on for the previous tag team champions on the Bloodlines tag titles? Look at this. DIY side plates are still on those titles. Why? And speaking of kind of stolen valor... Who's the real tribal chief? Is it Solo? Is it Roman? So if we go back to the beginning of all this questioning about who's the real tribal chief, obviously it started after Roman left after WrestleMania 40. And then all of a sudden, Solo had the tribal necklace. And fans were wondering, how did he get Roman's tribal necklace? Did Roman give it to him? and then regret it? Did Solo sneak into Roman's house and steal it? 
Roman himself, during his return to SmackDown, picked up the tribal necklace, which Solo dropped while escaping from Roman. He held it in his hands and looked at it. That is the same tribal necklace that Roman had, and Solo somehow gained possession of it. As we know, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Solo was able to get that tribal necklace back from Roman before the end of the show. Unfortunately, Roman's return to SmackDown was overshadowed by what some are calling a disturbing decision by WWE and Nick Aldis concerning Roman Reigns. Why did WWE do this and what does it mean for Roman? So here's what we know right now. The next WWE pay-per-view is Bash in Berlin taking place on August 31st. Cody Rhodes told Kevin Owens that he wants to face him and put his title on the line at Bash in Berlin. At first, Kevin Owens said, no, I don't want to do it. I don't deserve it. Then Cody Rhodes began talking to Nick Aldis, trying to make the match happen. And all of a sudden, Nick Aldis revealed, well, Cody, I can't have you face Kevin Owens at Bash in Berlin. You're going to have a rematch with... Roman Reigns at Bash in Berlin, and I'm going to go talk to Roman about it. Kevin Owens all of a sudden got offended that Nick Aldis would give a rematch with Cody to Roman. Kevin Owens said, Roman doesn't deserve it. I deserve it. Nick Aldis, in a stunning move, said, you know what, Kevin Owens? You're right. I'm going to cancel the rematch. Roman versus Cody part three is canceled. Instead, we're going to have Kevin Owens versus Cody. Obviously, Kevin Owens fans are going to love this decision and they're going to celebrate. But right now, the excitement is with Roman and fans want to see Roman go after the title that he lost to Cody. But now, that will not happen. Why did WWE and Nick all this make this decision? We all know that Triple H is better friends, is closer to Cody Rhodes, whereas Roman Reigns was more of a Vince McMahon guy. That could be one reason why this is happening. Basically, Triple H wants to punish Roman. The other reason this is not happening, Bash in Berlin is not a big enough pay-per-view for Roman versus Cody Part 3. Instead, they want to save it. And some believe that if Roman faces Cody again, Roman has to win the title. And Triple H does not want to end Cody's title reign right now. But for now, a rematch between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes has officially been canceled. What are your thoughts about Nick Aldis canceling a rematch between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes? Leave a comment and give me your opinion.